Good morning guys, welcome to today. It was pouring rain and now it's nice and sunny. And the goose got out. And the goose wants to be with the chickens. But the duck can't get out. Because the duck is not smart enough. The duck is smaller and he can't get out, but the big goose seems to be escaping all the time. He wants to be with the chickens, but then the duck wants to be with the goose. So, and uh, the rooster is looking for Sophie. The rooster is looking for Sophie. The duck is looking for Mr. Goose. There you go. Reunited again. Reunited again. I put these up and they're supposed to be like daytime, day, nighttime running lights. So this whole back area is lit, but for some reason they weren't working. So either they're broken or there's an electrical issue, which I got to try and fix today and hopefully it'll turn out really nice tonight. Boots are hanging around. Horses are eating. Why is Lucy yellow? Because she she's dirty. dirty, probably. Dirty duck. Lucy, you need to go have a bath. You need to have a bath, Lucy. There they go. Eating away. I'm tempted to just let them free. Still really. don't know where the goose got out. Got lots to do. I have to uh, collect all the branches everywhere and start burning them. <laughs> I did half of the stuff I did, but now I got like a lot more. Got my pot, got my pile way down there. I need to burn along with this other set. We need to clean up all this stuff today because get ready for winter. All these poles and stuff need to be put away. And I need to reseed. I'm going to reseed. I'm not sure if we're going to use this as the arena next year. Or we might use the field, the field right behind. So it could be dug up. Either way, I'm going to reseed all the fields we're not using. So this field, that, that field, the one that the horses are going to be on the winter on. And then once they're done, I'm going to reseed all the other ones. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. It's Monday? Yeah. Stuff in my shirt. <laughs> Welcome to Monday today. Sophie and I are getting stuff done in the house. So explain what you got going on here. So last Friday, I made pickles. I've been eating these ones, even though they're not supposed to be ready till Friday. Pickles are so healthy for you. This is the same recipe as that one. And then this is a different recipe that I made that's not that good. It's not as good? So you know what recipe you like now? Yeah. All right, so these are Sophie's pickles. So today I made this. Basically it's an orega oregano bomb that I make. So oregano is one of those herbs. Like I, I, when I was in college, I took a natural health course along with my nursing course. And I loved it. And basically, food can heal you. I mean, our food system is in a bit of a mess right now, how we have so much so much pesticide and stuff in it. But, but oregano is a natural antibiotic. So every once in a while, I make this. And today is the day I made it again. And basically, I use coconut oil instead of a regular oil. I use coconut oil because then it solidifies. And this turns into a really good facial cream, especially if you have like acne and stuff. So I'll take all this all this all these herbs out and I will strain them so it won't have the herb actually in the coconut oil when it's all finished and then I'll give the herbs to my chickens it's a natural antibiotic for chickens and it works so good like this stuff actually works so good so I am gonna leave it there for a couple of days a couple of weeks maybe Ooh. I also have a uh, apple coffee cake in there it's like one of my favorite recipes that i've ever made before so i made that and one of my favorite things about baking now that we have all these animals is that every bit of leftover from what we've baked can go to the animals so i love that i'm going to cut this stuff all up all these skins for the chickens and then i'm going to give the leftover apple pieces to the horses this is a lot of apple we don't usually give our horses this many apples but i'll give them a cup i'll give them each one and then we have so much less waste. Last week, Sophie also made treats for the dogs. These are dog treats. You guys know how, I don't know, that's what yeah. worries me. So you guys know how our duck and our goose are with, they're in the trailer, oh my gosh. 
they're with the horses versus with the duck and the with the chickens. So our duck and our goose are with the horses instead of the chickens. Wait, let me see. And I'm all like, oh, it's fine. Like he can, they can adapt. No, they want to be with their own kind. <laughs> so if you learn how to manage the chickens, yeah, you lure them away. You lure them away. <laughs> what? Why are you in the horse trailer? Look, I got a lot of apples stuff for you. I don't know if you can eat this or if you like to, but under here is some chicken piece or some apple pieces. Anyway, he's really wanting to be with the chickens. He just keeps climbing under the fence. So today Sophie's like, yeah, you can go with the ducks. So I feel like we're going to have to make a change there. It's just harder because there's no hose on this side of the barn for their water and it's harder because look at how gorgeous his brown is turning. Look at the wood his color is gorgeous. And also, um, I love you, buddy. they have a big huge stall and it's so easy to clean down there. In the little chicken coop it's harder. Well we clean. can still put them down there. But look at his neck, like he's just so regal and beautiful. And the duck. Is too dumb even though she's smaller and can get her. Did time. you let her out? I thought you were no. letting her out. Let's put you down if the chickens are scared of you. They're the, he's the same size. I as know, as well. and he likes them. He likes them. He's like, I will bash you all around. I'm just joking, guys. I don't think he's really saying that. <laughs> he's just a goose. He's so cute. I love him. He is really cute. I love him too. The only other thing is, is that he really wants to be with me and he's left the property one time when we first got him because he couldn't find me and he went looking for me. So I am worried about that. Oh, here she comes. Miss America. And I know she can't be Miss America because she's just a duck. It's just an expression. I want to show you where he is. There he is. There's your man. We do plan to get another goose and another duck. Yeah. Another duck for Sophie and another goose for me. Chickens are happy though. <laughs> They're having their daily snack. You just can't get over that he wants to be a chicken? Uh -huh. I'm just nervous that he's gonna go down the road. I know, me too. And it seems like he's going to. So someone in the comments today said, Sophie, that when roosters attack you, it's always because they're startled. And that they go through this stage. It's just a stage. And that he'll be fine. You just have to be extra loving. I know. I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. We either need to move the chickens over there. Well, don't chase them off. I'm not. Going in the coop. Because we have more chickens. Look. Treats. It rained here last night. The ground is still wet. My butt is wet now because I'm sitting on a wet cushion. But finally it rained. Our grass is going to grow again. <laughs> yeah, he, they really like the chickens because they were late because they're like the same size. They're not scary. <laughs> You're cute. The goose is finally... Look, he's right by you. He doesn't even care. Yeah. Ow. Finally, we found treats that the goats like. Are a little crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the chickens are like, give me some. <laughs> All of our animals just want to be together. King of the poop pile. <laughs> oh, mom. What? It's still so weird to see this barn with the doors all closed. I'm just going to throw the goats some hay before we leave. Grab some hay. Honey came up all by herself today for a drink. Hi, oh, you spit all your water out. <laughs> On top of you. It's honestly so hard to leave the barn, the farm. It's hard to leave it. Like, it's hard to walk away from the animals. They all just want us to sit there and hang out with them. Yeah, and we I want to. I that window and I watch the goose get out. Yeah, we, we sit and or we watch. 
look out that window and I see the goose walking all the way over here. Oh my god, the goose got out. I know, like we just, we're watching them all the time. We're listening for them. We always just want to be out here, but we have so many other things that we have to do. Blossom for us. Oh, that's Blossom screaming for us? Yeah. Adorable. So my purse kept beeping every time I went into a store. So I ended up switching it up. Sophie's begging me to switch up my purse. And sometimes I like to have a tiny one, especially for like fall, because then I'm not carrying around all the junk that I carry around all the time. All right, there are changes. Chino is back on new drugs, a little bit stronger, and he's been, oops, and he has been outside eating all day. Either his abscess has popped, or the drugs are making him feel better. Hi, handsome. I brought you more. Wait, let me get the string off. Hold on. <laughs> Do you guys want some too? Wait, I'll throw you more. We had a huge, ah! <laughs> we had a huge rainfall. Awesome. Huge, for an hour it poured. She's so, um, all the hay that I threw for the goats this morning, I've been throwing them hay recently, lately, because... If you can't have this, you'll die. If <laughs> you can't have this, you'll die. Um, but you can't have chocolate. No, you can't have chocolate. Good food. But anyways, things are looking up. I'm seriously finding it so hard to get used to the tack room all closed up. It's a little messy. I'm going to do like a clean the barn with me video soon, but I do love it in here. It's all protected from the weather and stuff. Where are those things? All right. So I showed you guys the other day that we had these things and we want to use them with every single one of our horses. This is like a heavy duty one that I found perfect for horses, but we want to try using these hula hoops with all of our animals. So we have these tiny ones that are perfect for chickens. But doing? this pink one, let's do the chickens. Pardon? All right, you want to do those ones? Okay. Yes. It's literally still thundering. Huh? We're out here. <laughs> and it could just start pouring again soon. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and teach them to jump through a hoop. Chicken! You have to throw the hoop. <laughs> All right, get them to jump this way. Yay! We got our first one through! They're so fan or chicken posse. <laughs> The chicken's name is Molly. Yeah. Named after my first white chicken. Yeah! <laughs> she jumped! No, 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 Don't you know that you're beautiful?